how's it going? Hey, about a year ago, I took the time to build a retrieving magnet to try to fish out a flashlight that I dropped in the water. Now, when I built that magnet, I never did find a flashlight. But one thing I found out was I was pulling things out that a lot of people had lost. I thought this was pretty neat. Spinner bait with a nice leader on it. Surgical tweezers. Big block of metal. So that, of course, got me thinking to start putting videos on on some of the stuff that I pulled out of the water. Uh, Phillips screwdriver, fish holder, first set of pliers, clippers. You know most pliers. I don't care you need them most. Look at that. Just pulled them pliers out of the water, buddy. And then I got to take a fish off with them. And as time went on, I uh, found quite a few stuff. Nothing like of real value, but it was pretty entertaining. Okay, I'm going back magnet fishing. Boom. All in all, pretty good. And then fast forward to this year. We had a new year, snow's gone. I'm going to go up and do some magnet fishing. My super magnet. This is the first time this year that I've been able to uh, get out and actually do some magnet fishing. Cast in and see if I can find anything without hooking into some rocks. Uh oh. And of course, I got it stuck. That ain't no good. I'm hooked. Now, I've had it stuck before, I've had it full of weeds, um, I've always been able to pull it out. How the hell can it be hooked? That frickin' bad. They're going up higher. Ah, really sucks the big one. Pull it as hard as I fucking can. I'm good. Whatever it's fucking hooked on to us. I got a fucking damn snow on my shoe. That's just great. Can't pull it. Goodbye. Well, right now it's still sitting in the bottom of the uh, water, most likely stuck to a rock. And when the river goes down, hopefully I can retrieve it out. But that got me thinking, I need to make something that will, will be powerful and yet have a less chance of getting stuck. And if it does get stuck, the financial burden will be minimal and I can just make another one. So with that said, I would ordered some powerful magnets from China. Now why China? because it costs too much to get them in the United States. And now I'm going to build me a streamlined super magnet for fish. So let's build it. These things are pretty dangerous getting shipped, so you got an eyelet. Well packed. And here we have actually two different magnets, roughly a two by two by one inch N52 grade with a hole in the center, and then a 50 millimeter circular one with a hole in the center. Both these will do the trick. Now when handling these, safety first. But we'll see. Did you see that guy? He's starting to get pissed at him. Now, to choose which one of the two I would like to use, I think I'm going to go with the circular one for now. And before I do start building it, I want to show a quick thing on why a person would select a just straight up neodymium magnets over like the pre-made uh, retrieval magnets. We're going to take this eye bolt, set it here, a roughly one inch thick block of wood put on it. All right, here's 150 pound retrieval magnet that I got off Harbor Freight. As you can see here, if this was sand and there was something under there, uh, there's no way it's going to pick that up. Now we'll take this magnet that I'm going to use. As you can see it pulls it up quite easily. We're going to go ahead with that. Now this came with a, a eye bolt in a screw, so it should be a very easy way to attach something to it, which could potentially be a little bit of a pain. When you're messing with these magnets, I'm telling you, you need to watch it.
And now a person had wrote in on one of my other videos, why not use 550 paracord? So that is what I'm gonna do. This is 100 feet of the 550 paracord, 5 inch diameter military grade. And this is up to a 550 pound pole. That will be the, the rope. And we'll be dipping everything in plasti dip to seal it up so that magnet will uh, hopefully extend the life greatly of these magnets because they are very brittle. All right, I stole a plastic cup out of the kitchen and cut the cut it down to size to where you can drop this magnet in and it should completely soak through the whole thing. Figured I'm gonna go up to about right here with the rubber coating. Next step would be fill her up with some plastic dip. This stuff dries rather fast, so person would have to hurry. Hopefully I didn't overfill the cup. Um, I did it roughly half full. We'll see what happens. You're gonna end up wanting to put a couple coats on. Now one thing I didn't think about is a person would like to have something ready to hang this stupid thing. So now I gotta figure out what I want to do here. I'm gonna stand here and hold this damn thing for the time it takes for this to dry. All right, so that's what I come up with. Just ran a rod through and used them two boards that I was showing you the strength of the magnet on. Now we got to get this back in the container so that will harden up on us. And we'll let that dry. And also, read your directions. One, it says to stir it a little bit first, which I didn't really do. And number two says dip it at one inch per five seconds, dropping your thing in. So I'm gonna stir it with my kid's pencil. I don't know how much that'll help, but we're gonna go ahead and put that second coat on. Waited 30 minutes, and now I'm doing a second coat. And we're really watch this thing is just very strong. Making a video, Charlie. Almost done. Charlie! What? I'm almost done. I'm making a video. Get this dump back in right away. Alright, now I'm gonna dip it the third and final time. All right, we got her all dipped up, three coats, and looking pretty good. Very solid, well protected. If you ever had problems, I guess, if it started cutting it, you could re-dip it again. I didn't hardly use anything out of that $9 can, so. So now the next step is to attach paracord. Now as far as tying it up, what I'm going to do is I have my own style tie that I'll I'll use on this. Might want to call it a figure eight or something, but and a simple design, but I'm telling you, basically double up the string. Last step, I'm gonna put a couple zip ties on there, just for added precaution. Heat to end up a little bit. Last but not least, I got a board here. I cut some slots in to wrap the paracord around and then bolted a PVC pipe to it to where I can stick that magnet down in for transportation without affecting uh, anything as far as getting stuck on metal or damaging anything. And there we go. Now we'll take her down in the crick and try it out and just see how well it works. Very compact. Doesn't take up much space. You don't have to worry about uh, it sticking too bad to stuff. Go ahead and try her out, huh? All right, we're down here at a crick. We're gonna test this out. Got my little helper with me, Charlie. Stay, you can stand. Well, come right here, buddy. But don't go any closer. Stay right there. Stay back. 
water's deep. I got a, about a five pound piece of metal, maybe more, I'm gonna throw in. And a pair of lock, uh, needle nose pliers. I got, got the pliers. There's the pliers. Oh, no, don't throw it back yet. I got that big piece of metal. Stay there, Char. problem with that. Even on the side it holds it. We're good to go. Hold the big metal up too, buddy. That heavy, huh? Uh -huh. Look how heavy that is. God, I know I can't hold it. I know you can't hold it. Watch this. Oh. Heavy, huh? I know it's stuck. It won't come off. I got to get it off, buddy. Me and Mom fall in the water. I'll hold you. I'll hold you. Oh, that wasn't good enough. You fall in. Huh? All the way over there. We'll do one more test. I'll do it right there. Here we are. I got it. I hooked it again, buddy. Stay there. Down in a bunch of weeds. And it picked her up. Look at that. Seems to be working quite well. Now when we're done, no, don't throw it back yet. Wind her up. <laughs> Oh, I gotta fish it back out. Okay, let's go. So, quite impressed. Very, very portable, easy to use, and it is so damn windy out here, it ain't funny, buddy. Terribly windy. 32 degrees out.